Hey guys, I decided to go ahead and record this empty video since I got all this stuff in here and it just is what it is. I'm trying to get my hair right. Y'all know I just kind of threw this on real quick. I don't know which one I want to wear tomorrow. Now. I did a review on this. I don't know if y'all remember her. This is Sarah of Brazilian Carolina Safe Quality Fair. Hair, yeah, she's from the wig factory. Yeah, I think I want to wear her tomorrow. Because she ain't getting in my... That's what I don't like about straight hair. It get in your mouth and... Okay, let's let's go ahead on. Into this empties video. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it through all of this crap. But it's a, a bunch of stuff that I've been saving. This is not empty. This Dickerson's Pore Perfecting Toner. Um, a lot of people rave about this toner. They like it, I guess, because the witch hazel. It doesn't burn. It doesn't sting. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, the Sephora, um, what are those things, y'all? I keep buying them. The Marcella water, and I prefer the Marcella water because in here I put some of that uh, um, vinegar with the mother in it because it didn't feel like it was doing nothing. So I won't get this again. I just, I just didn't like it, me personally. It didn't. I didn't say anything. It did. Uh, the sticking with toners. I know I got another toner. I don't know why I didn't put this stuff in order when I bought this bag in here to explain to you guys. Oh yeah, I did use this. I love this. This was the lotion P50 um, by Biologic. It's a lotion exfoliant. I really did enjoy this, but the price is kind of steep. So. Um, if I hit the lottery, I'll buy it again. I did notice my um, pores shrieking up. I don't know, y'all. I may buy it again. I did like it. I did. But I picked up another toner. I'm being a little over exaggerated. This is the smaller one. There's a bigger bottle. And it smells exactly like vinegar. But I did notice during the time I was using it. I don't even think I hauled it, y'all. I think I kind of snuck from y'all and used it because I was buying so much stuff. But I did like it. I did. And I saw that it was definitely some poor shrinkage in there. I just didn't like the price. I was too cheap and I didn't order another one. So, yeah. That's the lotion P50. Jackie Ina did a review. Is this stuff really put pretty much all over YouTube. That's what made me grab it. I'm trying to find uh, the one I just finished. You. Oh, I put a few masks in here. The brightening foam that I like. And this is irrelevant because this bag will be full because it's so many of those masks that I really did like. That's from um, the Face Story. Because I had one last night I put on that bubble. I meant to put that one in here and I didn't. That's why I don't even want to talk about them because I like it the most. The most. It didn't bubble huge. It just kind of bubble and tingle and you could feel it working. It was, um, it had eggs in it, egg yolk. I can't remember. It was an orange and yellow something thing. I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, then this is my, of course, y'all know my precisely my brow pencil. Since I put this in here, I don't buy four, four of these. Four. That's how long I've been saving these. And I still got one out of the four I purchased. I still got one left. So. And this uh, Ole Hendrix. Y'all remember when I bought this? This was the last VIB sale. The six power pill. I really enjoyed this, um, but it's been so long ago I don't remember. But I did like using it. I used it once a week and it was for six weeks. So I'm probably going to pick this up again in the VIB sale. This uh, Sunday Riley Martian, Martian oil, Martian stuff. I did like this. You guys know I've already repurchased another set with this mattifying melting water gel toner. Is that a Martian? Is that what that says? Yeah, this stuff right here. I didn't go for the big one, but I did um, get the the mini of this with the sulfur. I like the sulfur too. It just smelled like a fart, but I still, I still got it because I like the effects of it. I also picked up the, oh, another, I'm doing a haul, y'all. This is an empty. It's a UFO Ultra Carifying Face Oil. I did enjoy this oil. I didn't go back and buy another full size. I bought a set, a, um, a small set, because I wanted to try, what was it, you guys? I just hauled it. 
the good jeans. So I didn't buy another big one, but I did get one inside the good jeans. Um, so yeah, I did like the UFO, your UFO oil at night. But again, I'm gonna say it was not. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to say it was a dramatic difference. I use so many products in my skin care. Skin care, blah blah blah. Skin care routine at night. It's hard for me to say what's doing what because I'm with the Koreans and they 13, 14 steps. I'm just saying. But I did like the way that oil felt. I like the way it smelled. Um, this drunk elephants line. I finished all of these up. I want to say about two weeks ago, and I can say it's still some in here. Uh, the jelly cleanser, I did not like. I'm sorry. The intense hydration gel moisturizer, I didn't see anything great that it was doing for that price. Now, these two, I did like. Uh, again, I was using these just by themselves with the, uh, the moisture mattifying toner. The um, what else was I using at the time? This in the morning, I was using this at night, this in the morning, and just that uh, Lumiere moisturizer. But I was using this with my whole 13th step, so again, I really couldn't tell, which is why um, I don't want to say it didn't do anything. I used so many steps, my skin did look better. I just want to try the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, which is I got a small one so far, I'm liking it. I'm going to pick up another one for the VIB sale, and I'm going to put, you know, my thoughts and ideas on the back burner for this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm thinking, I'm feeling some kind of way about this 12% uh, AHA, BHA, because the one I got, I was using that too, the one I got from the, yeah, I know where I got, the Dime Store, is that what it was? The Ordinary? It's got, I think it's 25% AHA, whatever, the potency is higher, and it pretty much does the same. So I really was on the fence for picking this up, which is why I switched over to the Sunday Riley Mini. Besides, I wanted another UFO oil, and I plan on picking up the big um, good jeans. So I don't know about this. There's too many alternatives for this AHA, BHA in the low percentage that is it's in only 12%. I'm just saying, guys. That's just my opinion. Um, I know I got a lot of skincare in here. But, yeah. Oh, I used all my charge water. I'm so sad. And they don't even carry it anymore. That was my last bottle. I absolutely love that stuff. I put that out there because it's going back to Mac, yeah. <laughs> um, Let's see, what else? All oh, these bath and body works things. I told y'all I was saving everything. I absolutely love these. These been in here too long. You guys know I've already repurchased this stuff already. This uh, vitamin C facial wash. You guys know I bought two big bottles of this stuff. It was on sale for 12 something each. This is the uh, Face and Glory. Face soap and clarifying vitamin C facial wash. I absolutely love this stuff. Love it. I got one in the shower, one on the sink, and one next to the tub. That's how much I love this stuff. You got to try it. Try it. Let me let you see this real good so you know what to look for when you go in Ulta. Yes. Um, this is old. I put this in here because if you guys have never tried this, you need to check it out. Yes. This uh, fruit bruce is said Kroger's. It smells so good and it allows us great. This, uh, oh yeah, I killed this. I don't know what a bottle. Oh, this is in here. The Becca Ultimate Coverage in Sienna. I went straight through it. This is my all time favorite, favorite foundation. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's cold, empty. I hardly ever go through foundations, but this is one. I killed it. It's all the way empty. And this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage in Siam. This um, Rainforest of the Sea by Tarte. We didn't get along. I just, it didn't do, it's the Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. It, it felt pretty much like this. Just like putting a gel that hardly lather up on your face. I did not like this at all. Didn't like this either, so. 
But I used it up. It's empty. It took me forever. Hey guys, I'm sorry. It was the UPS man. I had to go get the door. But anyway, let's see. This youth to the people superfood. I had bought this. Uh, was it the summer VIP sale last year? But I rebought it again for the VIP sale um, in December, end of, end of the year. The superfood youth mini mud. I didn't buy the glycolic cream. What is it? The kale spinach green tea hydrolic acid. I didn't buy the cream. I did buy the face wash. But I'm still gonna say I like this face wash. This is the best face wash ever. Um, oh, these are great. I don't know if, if Bath and Body Works still carrying these Dream Bath sea salt soaks. These were ooh. In a thousand wishes, this thing still smells good. Um, what else we got in here? I don't know why this Nars blush. I'm still using it. I don't know why that's in here. This Dr. Branded uh, Microdermabrasion. I really love this black one. I didn't repurchase the black one. I picked up the blue one. I like the black Microdermabrasion. It's a scrub. I like it a whole lot better than I do. I like the black one a lot better than I do the blue one. But honestly, I like the Physician's Formula. Is that what it's called? You'll see it. I'll tell you about it in my haul. Is it Physician's Formula? No, that's not Physician's Formula. That's Drugstore. Microbiology? I can't think the name of it, but it's in a white thing. I'll show it to you in my haul and remind you of what I'm talking about. I like that one better than this one. And this uh, number seven beautiful skin melting gel cleanser. If I'm gonna use a gel cleanser, cleanser, this number seven one here, it is the absolute best gel cleanser. Even from the Clinique one in the jar that I've bought a couple of times, this one is the best. But now I've been using um, the Burst Bees, and when that's up, I got a big jar of the grapeseed oil that I'm gonna start trying. I like the Burst Bees, but this is the best gel cleanser if you want one. Just squeeze it out, put it on, and that makeup is off your face, including waterproof eye makeup. These things I do not like. I'm not even going to finish this Peter Thomas and Ross set. I finally got through it. Well, most of it. I just don't like this. I tried to finish the gold. When you put it on your face, it just feels like something just sitting on your face. So, I'm, 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 they going to the trash. They going to the trash. Um, the ordinary products I absolutely love. This was the ordinary. I don't know what this. Oh, the Alpha Butin Hydroxy AHA AA. This I really loved. I could see a lot of difference, but I jumped to this. That's why I say combine this with that red one that I have in the bathroom. The ordinary products are just way cheaper. I'm just trying the Sunday Rallies. So I'm just saying. This Marad Rapid Age Spot Pigment Lightning Serum. I'm picking up another one of these in um, the VIB sale. My plan to, I have so much makeup. I hope I don't forget to add that. Because I forgot about it once I ran out. I, I really like this. It's really good. Um, oh, the, the Green Clean by Pharmacy. I guess that's why Pharmacy was on my mind. I really did enjoy this. Oh, it's thick now for taking off my makeup but again I'm gonna say this is way cheaper this number seven and it works better way better this is the Clinique one better than the Clinique one it's empty but I've already repurchased another one but I bought it again before I picked this up and started using it I already purchased this but I never I already bought this but I had never started using it once I started using it I've been over everything else just over everything else this is another one of those pitious tomp. I just didn't like those masks. They just not worth they just not worth the money. Um the Luna Oil, yes, I did enjoy this and I have already repurchased that set. I did like the Luna Oil. I use it at night. Um oh this is from the rescue. They sent a little card. I put this stuff in here. This Chanel. This Chanel perfume for your wigs. I mean I say for your wigs. It says uh, uh, Chanel Chance, but it's a perfume mist for your hair. I spray it on my wigs to make them smell good. 
It smells just like the Chanel, but this stuff was gone in about a month, maybe two. It didn't last any time, and I just go shh, shh, and I'm done, and it's gone. In my mind, that's a little bit too expensive. I think it was $55. Nah, if my hair get any Chanel, it'll be from the Chanel that I have, that I put on me to go in my hair. Um, the next fragrance that I used up, oh, is this Coach Poppy. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's it's finally, it's a little cone in there, y'all. It probably stinks because it's in the corner, but I'm going to get it out. I love this Coach Poppy. It's just a real pleasant smell. This is my first empties haul, y'all, and this is too much stuff. These are my favorite drugstore liners. You can use them for brows, for eyes. They don't go anywhere. They are the Master Precise Skinny Bra uh, skinny Pencils by Maybelline. They're real, real tiny. And this stuff, when you put it on, it don't go anywhere. The black is super black. I'm trying to see how they for the brows because I used them for both. And I've already repurchased another black and another brown. I use them for my under eye and I use them for my brow. More so for my brow because my under eye is water and I don't care what I put there. Except for that uh, Makeup Forever Aqua XL. It don't move. And this UFO oil, we already talked about that because I showed you the box instead of the product. I apologize. I've already repurchased it if I didn't say. Um, I didn't like this. This a uh, Monday... Um, L'Occitane shower gel. I did not like that, which is why I didn't rebuy it. What is this? This is a MAC product. Oh, we ain't gonna talk about this. It's too old because it just fell out. I can't blame MAC. What was this? Bear Study. I, I don't think I used it because it was too pinky and now it's no good. So that's neither here nor there. I need to put that in the back to MAC pile, y'all. <laughs> this Coors Black Pine. Um, it wasn't good. It took me a long time to use it. It wasn't only something in there. A little bit. It wasn't just the smell. It was okay. I just wasn't seeing nothing it was doing. Same with the moisturizer. I didn't see anything it was doing for me, so I didn't rebuy it. Hated this, too. These Sephora green tea massages. Hated them. But the micellar, micellar water is awesome. Yeah, I mixed that micellar water with, um, with, uh, I put two or three drops why can I think? Because I'm trying to do too much at one time. Um, I can't think of what it is, y'all. What is that? It's an essential oil. But the name of it won't come to mind. It's for spots and blemishes. I put it in my micellar water. But I'll tell you in another video. Because my mind is just blank. I'm rushing. I got to go pick up my friend from work. And keep texting me. So if this. Empties video. Was entirely too long. Please forgive me. Y'all know I'm still sitting here trying to think. Of what. Which oil is that. I, I, put, I even put uh, some of it in my toner. Y'all ready for the VIB sale? I ain't. I am not. I gotta do a couple of um, extra shifts because my card say $972. And right now, my account don't say that's okay. So I gotta eat. And ain't none of this stuff that I abuse or buy for my face. Well, none of it. None of it go in my belly. So I'm gonna have to shop smarter this year not spend as much money as I usually spend um, that's pretty much it I'm just talking now y'all y'all be blessed I'll see you in the next video bye